27th of February 2013. Close your eyes and bless the whole body and mind. We must try to be doing only, doing with attachment is not doing only. If there is attachment, there will be attention to what we are doing, trying to change our attention from the action to the right understanding. If you do not meditate, you are rejecting the practicing meditation. If you pay attention to the practice, there will also be attachment. Be careful to detach to the practice of meditation. Our normal doing is doing with attachment. We pay attention to what we are doing. Just pay attention to right understanding and detachment. Life is to use only. Physical, aura and mental action are also to do only. If there is attachment, we will pay attention to our life and to what we are doing. Trying to be doing only. Now we are practicing meditation. We must pay attention only to right understanding, which is to do only to experience only, to know only. We must try to abandon attention to knowing and not knowing, doing and not doing, happening and not happening. Attachment to the life, attachment to the meditation practice are already in the mind before we meditate. That's why when we meditate, we are meditating with attachment to the life, to the practice. We must try to detach to that attachment by paying attention to right understanding. We must change our attachment to the right understanding. Be mindful to be doing only. Balance the mind and the whole body. We must try not to use our body and mind as we used to do. To be using only. We must try paying attention to the mind and body. The body and mind will always be changing. Whether we take care or not, our life, mind and body will always be changing. It is going its own way. We must try to be using only. We cannot stop the nature of mind and body. We can only stop attachment to the mind and body. We must do what we can do. 
to the taste, to the mind and body, because taste attachment. We are misunderstanding about the original truth. Attachment is making us not to understand the original truth, impermanent nature and permanent nature. We know our mind and body with wrong understanding. That's why we think it is something we own. The truth of mind and body is just impermanent nature. Because of wrong understanding, we know we know them as something we own. We misunderstand as my mind and my body. Our understanding, our normal understanding is wrong. That's why when we meditate, we are meditating with wrong understanding. We are using mind and body with wrong understanding. The truth is ever new impermanent nature. Not our mind and body, not our life. The truth is always the same, never change. Because there is wrong understanding and attachment, knowing which is happening in our mind is wrong. Our knowings are wrong because because of wrong understanding and attachment. That's why we think meditation is doing something. In fact, to do only, to use only, not to think as something. The truth never change. We cannot change the truth, but we can change our understanding from wrong understanding to right understanding. The question, who am I, or am I right, or am I wrong? These questions come from wrong understanding. If there is no wrong understanding, or if there is right understanding, no questions like this will appear. Because of not understanding the truth, the question, am I right or am I wrong, are always happening in our mind, unless mind and body just pay attention to right understanding to do only, to use only. We may be old or young, we may be sick or healthy. Our mind may be stable or upset. Don't pay attention to the present situation of mind and body. Just pay attention to right understanding. In this way, we must try to detach to the pleasant situation of mind and body. The more you take care of yourself, there will be more attachment in yourself. Don't think about where I am, don't think about what we are doing, just think about right understanding, to do only, to use only, to experience only.
always be aware of right understanding and you will be able to use all the creator truth in the right way using only not rejecting and not attaching trying to detest to what we are doing now by paying attention to right understanding if we use right understanding our mental action is right if our mind is doing right it is powerful if we are thinking about ourselves with attachment our mental action is wrong if our mind make mistake there will be problems in our mind making mistake is usual to the mind because there is no because there is nothing to compare or because there is no choice we are making mistake that's why there is always problems in our mind we must use our mind for right understanding from limited time to limitless time if there is two type of understanding it is clear to know what is good and what is bad by thinking only we cannot understand about the right understanding doing only only by using right understanding there will be less and less attachment and we can understand about the right understanding more and more at the present time it is not difficult for you to use right understanding if you meditate alone you must try to use right understanding by yourself there are a lot of attachment in our mind that's why it is difficult to remember the right understanding by ourselves to solve this problem we need to listen about right understanding more and more you can use one of the method in practicing meditation you can pay attention to breathing in and breathing out but you must try to do with right understanding doing only experiencing only knowing only if there is no right understanding you will be practicing with wrong understanding wrong understanding is already in the mind we pay attention to the method it is because of wrong understanding we pay attention to whatever happens when we meditate it is also because of wrong understanding and attachment knowing about wrong understanding is also right understanding if there is not right understanding there will be wrong understanding 
happening wrong understanding is not important to know wrong understanding as wrong understanding is important by keeping preset you can correct your physical and or a mistake by meditation you can correct you are made a mistake but only by right understanding you can correct misunderstand wrong understanding the aim of making donation the aim of keeping preset the aim of practicing meditation all are to be free from wrong understanding and attachment we used to think if we do good deeds more and more including practicing meditation wrong understanding and attachment will disappear it is also right but not complete if you are wrong understanding and attachment is not too strong it is possible if you are wrong understanding and attachment is too strong it is not sure to be free from wrong understanding and attachment to solve this problem you can use right understanding when you do good deeds you must not grasp to one of the method when you practice you should try to be practicing only to be using only if you can follow the middle way you will understand like this by yourself besides you can use right understanding from the beginning meditation meditation keeping present and doing good deeds are concerned with everyone meditation is not only for meditators so also right understanding is not only for buddha and enlightened one it is for everyone you can also use right understanding it may be difficult to understand like this because of wrong understanding that's why it is necessary to understand like this to detach to wrong understanding we are using wrong understanding but with attachment wrong understanding is also to use only with detachment we are using attachment with attachment attachment is also to use only with detachment right understanding and detachment are also to use only because of attachment when we use right understanding we are using right understanding with attachment we must try to detach to right understanding also if there is detachment we must try to detach to detachment also all our knowings are to use only 
not to reject, not to attach. Using with attachment is our habits. We must try to abandon our own habits. Knowing and not knowing are also to experience only. If there is knowing, we must try to detest to knowing. If there is not knowing, we must try to detest to not knowing. If there is attachment, we must try to detest to attachment. If there is detachment, we must try to detest to detachment. We need to detest because attachment is already in the mind. If there is if there is no attachment and wrong understanding, meditation is not necessary. Because no mind is free from avijja and tanna or wrong understanding and attachment, we need to keep precept, to meditate, to make donation. If there is right understanding and detachment, our mind will be clean, clear, and peaceful and powerful. Because of wrong understanding and attachment, our mind is not clean, not peaceful, not much powerful. If we feel happy, we must detach to Happy net. If we feel sorry, we must detest to our sorrow. Wrong understanding and attachment is creating various mind. So whatever appear in the mind, we must try to detest to that mind by using right understanding to experience only, not to reject, not to attach. Whatever happens to the mind and body, the truth is ever new impermanent nature. Not something, not someone. If we are not feeling well, we think, I am not feeling well. It is because of wrong understanding. If there is right understanding, the situation of not feeling well is to experience only, to use only. The truth is ever new environment in nature. Because we think not feeling well as real, that's why we cannot know about the impermanent nature. Because we are grasping our knowing about not feeling well as reality. We believe in our intelligence, in our wisdom, that's why we believe what we know, we must change our believing, our belief to right understanding, not to ourselves. Life is to use only, not to reject, not to attach. All daily actions and doing good deeds including meditation, are also not to reject and not to attach, to do only, to use only. But we must try to use 
in the right way, in the right time, in the right place, in the right situation. Not to reject does not mean we must do any time, anywhere. Now you have chance to understand like this and you have chance to practice like this. That's why you must try to understand and to practice like this. If you don't get this chance, you cannot choose to understand like this and to practice like this. What I am guiding is doing good deeds with right understanding and doing our daily activity with right understanding. Teaching is over now. Any question? Normally because of attachment to attachment to anger and because of attachment our knowing will be we will notice about about anger or attachment. I mean anger is in the mind. Attachment is also in our mind. That's why normally we will notice our anger or attachment. What we must do is to change our mental action to right understanding to experience only not to reject, not to attach to experience only is anger happen, attachment happen. We must try not to pay attention to to that situation. If we practice to pay more and more interest to right understanding, it is possible. Not to to abandon interest to anger or attachment. We are interested in the life and dead. We are interested in our mind. That's why whatever happened in our mind, we pay attention to it. Because of attachment, we cannot detach to the mind and body because we don't know the original truth which is ever new environment in nature. Cause and effect. Because we are paying so much attention to the mind and body, which we know, we are paying too much attention to our knowing. That's why that that is the cause, the cause of not understanding the real environment and nature. That's why we must try to detach to to our knowing and not knowing. There is anger and there is attachment. Only when knowing happens, we can know there is anger and there is attachment. That's why what we must try is to detach to, to our knowing to our pleasant knowing. They are continuous knowing one after another 
is happening. We are unable to digest to our knowing. That's why we there is problem. If if we can detest to the knowing, whatever knowing will be knowing only, experiencing only. To detest to our knowing, we must. We must try to pay more and more attention to right understanding. In this way, there will be attachment to right understanding. But we will be able to detach to our knowing. Knowing is our knowing is much not different to each other. Knowing about anger, it happened in all of all of us. Knowing is the same, the same knowing. Anger, knowing of attachment, knowing of someone, the same knowing happened in our mind. The problem is. Attachment to that knowing. That's why we that that attachment come from attention. We pay attention to our mind and to each of our knowing, knowing and also not knowing. That's why. We must change our attention to right understanding. Just pay attention to right understanding, to do only, to use only, to experience only, to know only, not to reject, not to attach. Before I meditate. I pay attention only to my, to my job, to my business. When I start my meditation, I'm interested. My interest change to. I'm interested in meditation. In this way, time after time, my attention change from my. Business to doing good deeds, including meditation. In this way, although there are a lot of business in society, I'm not interested. My interest change to meditation, Buddha, and his teaching. It is possible to change our attention to right understanding. We must be patient. There is anger because of, especially because of our own habits. We must try to abandon our habits, habits, eating habits, sleeping habits, thinking habits, doing habits. Whatever we do, we use our own habits. That's the problem of causing. Anger. We must. We must try. Not to forget right understanding. And besides, we need. 
to be able to do what should do and to be able to do in a in the right way not not as we want to do i mean when we eat we must try to eat not as we wish but what should eat when we speak also we must try not as we used to speak but why should why should speak our habits is that our own habits are making us a lot of problems when we use right understanding we must try to abandon or to abandon our habits as much as we can in this way there will be in this way we can we can solve the most difficult problems which are caused by our habits if we learn about buddha teaching we can we can know whatever buddha do it is what we should it is because of necessary all the action of buddha are not because of desire but because of it is necessary he use right time right place right situation right method we must also try to solve our own problems by not obeying our own desire by abandoning our own habits as much as we can in this way there will be no there will be no i whatever we do we must be mindful not do not to do, do as we used to do in all our action in this way you will you will learn by yourself there will be less and less anger before we do we must we must we should think we should do or we should not before we say we should we should think we should say or not before we eat we should think how much we should eat or what time we, we in this way we can control our habits of doing as we used to do by wisdom we can abandon our habits to become less and less i'm also trying to be to abandon my habits also it is difficult but it is possible it is what you must do maybe sasa or not you must you must do if you can 
to a little, you will gain a little benefit. If you can do more, you will get more benefit. You must try to use right understanding in your in your work in your daily life. If you cannot use right understanding in your work, you must choose. You must choose one. You are what or doing good deeds. Finally, you must you must choose meditation. You must try to choose meditation. As early as you can. In this way you will be there will be you are intelligence, that's why you understand what you should do, but because of attachment you are because of attachment you you want to continue your work. You should you should try. If you if you can if you can do your work with right understanding, you will know you will know about your attachment more and more. When you meditate uh, there will be there will not be too much strong attachment. If you do your what, you can see strong attachment. And you should try to detach. <laughs> if you can, <laughs> come back again <laughs> to the center. Say again. Uh, in the world, a lot of people, I think everyone, they have a strong desire to try to get a promotion or to do something for consider as your ambition. Try to get a higher promotion or higher position. Uh, even I could be free from those of the desire or ambition. Try to Yes, if you can, if you can use right understanding in your work, you are not uh, depending on yourself. You are depending on right understanding, and the result will be quite amazing because the quality of someone and the power of someone and the power of right understanding is quite opposite, quite different. If you can use the power of right understanding, nothing is difficult. 
In the beginning, it will be difficult to use right understanding, but if you try hard, it is possible. To be doing only without paying attention to yourself and to your society, to your to the result also. If your mind is free, you can see. You can see far, far away. You can see more than other people. You will, you will be more and more good lad, and in this way, no one will will not be competed with you. Actually, it would be a bad idea if I do that thing. That would make me do a dream. Because mostly in the real life, when you do that dream person, strong, desire, and when you use somebody else, you normally get a higher position, promotion, and you get more money. But if you are a good person, generally you are kicked out from the work and The world is changing. Not, not, not always be the same as you think. Understanding will change. More and more people will be interested to doing good deeds. That's why. If you can do more and more good deeds, you, you, your life will be more valuable. You should try to change your your surrounding by right understanding. You you change yourself first in, in this way. You must detest to. To that understanding, because of attachment, there is problem. If you can detest to yourself and to other people, whatever they think is no problem. Is there anyone who want to share your own experience? Yes, you 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 can. You must meditate uh, daily also. In this way, there will be detachment power, and you can understand what you should do and what you should not do. In this way, that wisdom will guide you to be enlightened. So, uh, so you know what your holiness is that so meditation will guide us to. Yes. Yes. So, to meditate is just to keep everything as just experience, just follow through. You can use. You can test. There are a lot of meditation methods. You can test one after another also. You can understand my teaching. There, there will be no side effects to. To attach, to to be strong, attach to meditation method. Uh, that's why you should you should use 
meditation method. If you can, you can, uh, you can go to meditation retreat also. Uh, whatever you do, you must try to do with right understanding, uh, right understanding and detachment. So, no, 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 not yet. Um, not everything. You must try not to pay to something or everything. Uh, you must pay attention only to right understanding, which is to use only, to do only. The aim of paying attention to the truth of created truth is to understand the ultimate truth or original truth, which is impermanent nature and impermanent nature. So that means, I No, not everything is changing, but that that is right, but that is not enough. Uh, that is not complete understanding. You must try not to think as something, not to think as everything. Uh, this this is the way to to understand about four noble truth. You must, you must try to detach to yourself and to other people, to, to the, to your daily, daily, daily works and to the practice of meditation also. With me, your mind must be free from time and place, something or someone. Now, now there is something or everything in your mind. What you must do is to abandon something or someone from your mind. In this way, your mind will be clean and clear. In this way, you will be, you will be able to use your mind with detachment. Uh, so, so I want to uh, uh, clarify uh, what we teach the way to uh, make our mind free from all of this uh, detachment, something, someone. We have to practice uh, the method to try to abandon everything and take it as a experience only not to focus only not to attachment. Yes, uh, attachment occurs in the mind. That's why wrong understanding and attachment is existing in the mind. That's why. Whatever might happen, uh, wrong understanding and attachment include because of uh, wrong understanding. We we think our body and mind as real existent or something. That's why mind is not not free. It is possible to to remove mind and body from 
ภาวะไม้ to remove one thing something or everything someone or everyone the world the sun the universe all are in the mind because of wrong understanding if if we can change wrong understanding to right understanding mind there will be your mind will be pure mind there will be nothing in your mind no life no death at at that time the the original wisdom appear and it it can understand permanent nature in permanent nature Uh, so, a lot of the way to, to this understanding is through practicing of the uh, meditation, uh, like having good experience, or is there any other way? Right understanding. Meditation. Most of the people do meditation is uh, sitting. Uh, with closing mind, but it is not. It is also necessary, but especially right meditation is right understanding and detachment. If there is wrong understanding and detachment, you are not real meditating. The real meditation is your mind is free from wrong understanding and. Attachment, because some something is in the mind. That's why whatever we know, there is something. What is this? Or there is something is already in the mind. Someone is already in the mind. That's why whatever we know, something something is involving. In our knowing, someone is involving. That's why we we think nothing, everything is uh, impermanent. Everything is everything is change, changing. Everyone must die. That understanding is because of wrong understanding and attachment. What we must do is to to remove. Someone or something from our mind. Mind is also, if if there is right understanding, we will know mind. We will know the truth of the mind, just to use only, not our own, not something. That the the reality is, every new impermanent nature and permanent nature. Permanent nature is nibbana. Knowing about that truth is original wisdom. In this way, we must try to know about four noble truth. Knowing, knowing, knowing like this, everything is changing. Is not not enough. It is true, but not complete. You must try to know about four noble truth by by practice. Find more and more to in good deeds. Now you can understand like this. In fact, if you try, not not much difficult. If you practice uh, like this, and if you if you try not to pay attention. Do your education, do your life, do other people. It is making wrong understanding and attachment to be to disappear, to be less and less. That is real education. If you if you know about about this truth, you will be real educated. It can 
This practice can fulfill all, all your desire. That's why no need to rely on yourself. Just, just pay attention in, in doing good deeds, in right understanding and detachment. In this way, your life will change. Now I'm solving the. Now I'm solving the problem of the people not to understand like this. Most of the yogis are difficult to understand like this. I want to change the understanding of the people, especially for the yogis. That's why I I I teach like this by using that power, by using detachment power. That's why if you think if you think it is impossible to change the understanding of the people is impossible. So because people are they are alert, they are strong attachment in the mind of the people. That's why they will not they will not abandon their understanding. That's why it is the most difficult problems. I my teaching intend to solve that problem. My teaching is not much important. The power I am using is more important. Because I understand how to change my understanding to be like this. So also, I know how to change understanding of other people to right understanding. It will take time, but it is possible. If your mind change, everything will change. If you can change your mind, nothing is difficult to do. As you are a son, he, although he is young, not, he cannot, most of the most of the boy like, like him cannot understand like this, cannot meditate. It is difficult. But because he follow, he listen my teaching, he follow, that's why he can change his mind. He, he must go on and on in this way. His mental action chain, his physical aura and mental action chain in this way. He, his power will also change. His mind will also change. If if he can change his mind, he can also help other people to to understand like him, to be able to practice like him. It is the most important. Other qualities are not much important. To be famous, to be... Others are not, 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 much, not, not important. The most important thing is to abandon, to, to detest to, to our surrounding, as you are sent to detest to his friend, to detest from other, other boys like him. That power is, that power is important. 
right understanding and detachment power. And if you use if you use this power, you, you can see the result by yourself. Now you are also practicing like this. You can you can understand by by your own experience. There are a lot of amazing happening because of this power. But I'm not interested in this experience, that's why. I'm I make no record. If you can abandon your experience, that will be more and more powerful. Not to attach whatever happened to experience only. And you must use right understanding in any situation. You can follow the way, that's why not not difficult. You you can understand the by yourself. May all merits be have done day now. Be dedicated to all sentient beings. May all be Rejoice and share in our merits. Rejoice and share in our merits. Sadhu, Sadhu.